Hey Collective, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, and this is going to be one of your general July readings, okay? Um, we're going to get started here in just a second. This is for all signs. Anyone who comes across the video, this is for the Collective, okay? Any information you need can be found down below, including a link to my Patreon page. It's the only other place where I read for each sign. I do read for the elements over on TikTok each week, as well as the... Um, as well as a daily energy, okay? So, um, the links for all those platforms are down below. And uh, there's a link to my other channel if you're interested in the content over there. There's going to be more uh, coming next week, okay? And for anyone who might be interested in learning the tarot, I do have a course, okay? So, I'm uh, pulling three here. So, if it's not resonating with you in the beginning, feel free to stick around or skip around. You might find something that does, okay? All right. So, I'll actually open this one first. See what we have here. Next three months, okay. Next three months. So let's see what's going on with the collective in the next three months. <clears throat> what's going on with the collective here in the next three months? Okay. This is the before tarot here. You have two majors showing up. I'm not sure. Can you all see? Okay, you can't see all those there. Let's see if I can angle it down just a little bit. Um, yeah, you got the uh, <laughs> High Priestess, the Will of Fortune, and the um, King of Cups. Two sixes and the Queen of Wands. Interesting. Okay, collective. Hmm. I feel like there's this new drive about you here in the next three months. You have the uh, Three of Pentacles showing up, Mars and Capricorn. Um, there's a new way of doing things. There's also some of you, it's like if there's not a new way of doing things here, collective, it's like people are just now, what would you call it? Hmm. Um, people are liking the way that you're doing things all of a sudden is how this feels to me. It's like the way that you have been doing them. Maybe you've not been getting a lot of recognition. I feel like you're going to be getting some recognition. Absolutely. You've got the sun right underneath that. So in the next three months, expect a lot of attention. Okay. Expect a lot of recognition and praise. I mean, you do have, uh, the two sixes showing up here. Okay. Yeah. You're definitely about to embark on a new journey. Absolutely. You have the uh, high priestess showing up. I also feel like you're about to unlock hidden knowledge. The high priestess can represent secrets. I feel like you are about to unlock lock some hidden knowledge here that's going to change the game for you okay not just for you but for others like for the way collective that you are presenting yourself to the world for what it is that you have to put out into the world here it's very interesting yeah this cup is floating in the air it's about to be given to you i really do feel as if you all are about to be crowned here um with some kind of hidden knowledge and it's not as if this knowledge is just coming out of nowhere it feels as if this is coming from experience but it's like uh the lesson has not um clicked with the experience just yet but it's going to be happening within the next three months some of you there's going to be um, a big shift in love a big turnaround in love uh in the next three months especially for those of you who especially for those of you who um, are waiting on, like, you don't have any love right now. Um, I definitely feel with the King of Cups showing up, love is coming into your life here. It's going to be a fixed sign for some of you, uh, an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Pisces. And I know that Aries, Sagittarius, and Pisces are not fixed signs. I'm saying fixed energy or those three signs, okay? You have the Six of Pentacles showing up as well. Like I said, what it is that you are giving to the world is changing. Maybe you felt like you didn't have a lot to offer before, so you're going out and you're uh, gathering more knowledge here, figuring out, like, how do I, like, how do I resonate with this? Like, how can I, um, you know, how, how can I make these uh, lessons kind of fit into my life? Like, that's the energy that I kind of feel you uh, in here. You know, it's just trying to gather as much knowledge as you can about the things that you have gone through, trying to make as much sense of it as you can and make as much sense of the world as you can, um, of the workings of the world. You know, I feel like there's just a lot that you are tapping into here in the next three months collective, and it's about to take off. Something's about to take off here, okay, and take off quickly. It's some kind of creation of yours or some kind of passion of yours, basically, with the Queen of Wands energy. For others of you, it's love okay for others of you it's love you're planting new seeds and love but the main energy here is giving and receiving the main energy here is giving and receiving like you are uh reaping reaping rewards here and i feel like it's because you're adding value uh to someone's life here or to you know the world okay 
either way it goes, even if you're just adding value to one person's life here, uh, you're still making the world brighter on some level here in the next three months. Let's see what else we have here for you. Let me get this rubber band back around this here. Let's see what else we have for my collective. Next 30 days, okay? Um, next 30 days, all right? So um, we're breaking it down to the specifics here, are we? Okay, let's look. All right. I'm actually going to do um, one of these to represent each 10 days here. I'm going to do three of them. All right, this is for collective. We have Virgo Energy. We have air okay and we have Sagittarius energy okay all right so this is representing your next 30 days so let's go ahead and clarify these here um, so let's look at the next 10 what's going on with the Virgo energy here you could be a Virgo have some Virgo in your chart be connecting with one what's going on with this energy here for collective page of cups Ooh, organizing your emotions, organizing your thoughts. It's it's weird because it's not like, you know, in the next 10 days, I feel like there's an emotional conversation happening here. It could be with a water sign. Uh, it doesn't have to be. You might be the water sign here, but I feel like you're really able to put your emotions into words uh, better than you have been before. What else is happening with this? Or somebody else is coming towards you with this energy, like they're ready to express, ready to express nine of swords. Yeah, there's been some grief that's gone on here. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles, like somebody has been very, very patient, and I think that they're expressing that, like, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm exhausted with this, I'm, I'm tired of being patient, I'm tired of waiting, like, when does this, like, when does this end, you know, that's the energy that I feel someone in here, um, so there's a conversation happening, there's a breakthrough, there's some kind of clarity taking place here, basically, but it's not going to come without a little bit of a fight, without a little bit of a, almost like a tug and work, tug of war kind of energy here um, with a person. You know, it's like there's uh, there's a conversation that has to happen here, basically, in the next 10 days. I feel like it's going to be difficult, but it is going to um, allow for things to get uh, uh, straightened out here, basically. You have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords, so for some of you, it's just closure, clarity. Um, but for others of you, I feel like it's uh, trying to hash through, uh, trying to hash out some kind of um, really hard issue here, basically, that's been going on for a long time. Let's look at the air energy and see what's going on with the 10 following days. For collective. Eight of Wands, okay, so lots of messaging, lots of communication here. Nine of Wands, okay, another nine showing up. What's this about here? The star, okay, I'm going to put the star over here, explicit images. Uh, six of Pentacles, okay. Um, some of you, this could be with an Aquarius. You could be the Aquarius, okay. Somebody could have their moon in Taurus or their moon in Libra, but basically I feel as if there is a new type of conversation happening here. Um, you know, I feel like there's expansion. I really do. With the Nine of Wands, though, I feel like you're having a conversation with someone here collective who has hurt you okay or vice versa like there's some healing going on somebody's like listen this is what you know needs to be done here we need to clear the air we need to sort things out um that's the kind of energy that i feel here and there's a lot of passion there's a lot of chemistry and desire here um between the two of you physically speaking um you know, and I think that developed an emotion, into emotion very quickly, and it wasn't discussed well enough, okay? It wasn't discussed well enough, so now you're laying some ground rules, some boundaries, planting some new seeds here, basically, <clears throat> within the next 20 days. Now, let's look at the following uh, days here. Somebody could have their moon in Sagittarius, but um, what's going on here? Ooh. King of Wands, Leo Energy. Confidence to expand here within the next 30 days. Confidence to expand. Absolutely. Will of Fortune. Good. To open new cycles here, Collective. I like that for you. I like that a lot. Will of Fortune does represent um, good luck, okay? And you have the Tower here. So you're doing something scary. You're doing something that's never been done before is basically the energy that I fill you in in the next 30 days. Mainly uh, those last 10, you know? Mainly those last 10. You have the Ace of Cups. Some of you, it's like you're completely shedding how you view love before. And it's like, well, I'm going to go towards love, you know? Or you are completely demolishing the way that you saw a person before. And it's like, you know, I'm going to give them another chance. I'm going to see them as someone different and see if it works out this time and that's totally up to you i am seeing expansion here on some level because you decide to take a risk some of you you're going to become an entrepreneur here 
and you could be restarting something that failed in the past, but there's actually success with that coming, okay? Um, definitely don't lose hope or inspiration. Um, don't lose sight of the goal because the Knight of Cups can represent your vision, but there is 110% expansion going on here for you guys in the next 30 days. So I love that. We're going to see what else we are covering here for you. Collective. <clears throat> oh. What else do we have for the collective? Let's see here. One second, you guys. Crystal ball. Okay, crystal ball. Strong Capricorn energy here. I'm getting the term missed the mark, missed the mark. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I feel as if somebody has missed the mark here. What is going on with that? Yeah, I think somebody has run out of time to do something here is the energy that I feel. Um, make sure that you are double checking your, um, double checking here collected to make sure certain things that were supposed to come out have come out or certain things that were supposed to clear off of your account have cleared out here. Uh, something else that I'm feeling, just be double checking those things because, you know, it could be one of those things where um, everything clears all at once, right? And you're left with some uh, financial sticky situation, okay? I also feel like there's a really fertile energy here. I'm seeing carrots. <laughs> so uh, to me, that represents a fertile energy, <clears throat> but also a symbol of abundance. So I do like that for you here, Collective. I keep getting strong Capricorn energy for some reason, as well as Sagittarius. So um, yeah, that's showing up as well. I also feel like there's a little bit of a wall. I'm getting uh, the letter L, the letter B, the letter S. I feel like there's a little bit of a wall here. Yeah, you're going to be breaking through that wall. There's going to be some kind of conversation that takes place here with the person. What it's regarding has to do with a fracture within the connection. Um, it feels like it's actually a pretty solid connection, but there's something that's come through here that's caused a fracture within the connection is how that feels to me here, Collective. This could be a Libra or Scorpio as well. Um... Yeah, so it's like some kind of ruin basically has come through, like some kind of tornado. Like that's the kind of energy I feel has come through you and a person. Like it was a pretty solid connection and now something is um, causing it to go off course. <clears throat> Somebody could be getting back into sports here. Like, I feel like if somebody was playing sports, I feel like they're getting back into sports. There's something going on with that. Like, you're getting back into the things that you like to do, you genuinely like to do, things that you have fun doing. Um, yeah, it's like there's a childlike energy again. Um, going outside, playing outside, things of that nature. Be mindful of your sleep routines as well, okay? Uh, make sure that you're uh, getting enough rest here. Be mindful of illusions in the dark as well. Uh, some of you, I feel like you could be, um, like, I feel like you could be imagining things in the dark here. So be careful with that, okay? Um, I feel like there's a, there's slight paranoia here, okay? And it could be due to something that you've seen. Uh, oh, there's definitely a pregnancy here for someone. Somebody's uh, attending an ultrasound, okay? Or something of that nature here. Yeah, there's definitely a pregnancy here for somebody. Um, but yeah, there, there's something that you're... Oh, how do I explain that here to the collective? Um, some of you, it's like there are a lot of doubts and fears creeping in, and you're very quick to believe those doubts. You're very quick to believe those fears. But when it comes to, um, you know, the good things and the good possibilities, uh, you're very quick to doubt them. So it's very weird. <laughs> it's very weird. There's a lot of doubt here. Um, a lot of fear, though, that you are uh, giving a lot of energy to, giving a lot of belief to. So be careful of that, uh, you know, making up stories here, okay? So don't make up any stories. And if you do make up stories, make up some good ones too, okay? Um, I know that's easier said than done. Believe me, I know. As a Pisces, I know, okay? Um, but yeah, uh, try that, okay? Ooh, there's definitely a new path here. Like I'm literally seeing, okay, mm-hmm. Some of you, uh, like there's, oh, I don't know why that's coming in. Some of you, you could be really connected to, 
How do I even explain this place here? Some of you, you could have uh, some involvement in like <laughs> skiing or mountain climbing. There's something like that here. Um, like, I don't know why I keep getting physical activities, like something that is building physical strength. So for some of you, that's going to be significant here. Um, but I'm really getting cold places. If I'm being honest, I'm really getting cold places. So, um, I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure what that's about. Something could be going on in the winter. Something could be going on in the winter months. Um, Make sure that you're staying active, though. I'm not a doctor, but, uh, yeah, if you're able to do that, make sure that you're staying active. Uh, unless, of course, you have, like, a physician who is advised against that, obviously. Um, you know, make sure that that's something that you're doing here. Because I feel like your health could be a big focus here in the rest of July and leading all the way up to September here, uh, collective. There's something significant about water and ice, okay? Um, there's something significant about water and ice. You could be spending a lot of time by the water, uh, could be doing a lot of reflecting here. You could be a water sign. There could be a lot going on emotionally. You could be going cold um, emotionally, you know, but there is uh, something significant about those two things, okay? Um, getting the letter J now the letter A, and the letter M. I feel like something is frozen, you know, something is frozen. I think that's why I'm getting all of that. Um, this could be with somebody who is like fair skinned or has blonde hair. Um, there's definitely something that is frozen here with this person like it is just completely on ice it's at a complete standstill I feel like they have something else going on here okay um, there's someone else involved it doesn't it doesn't have to be a romantic like third party but there's someone else involved here okay yeah I feel like there's some kind of chaos that has um, hit here I think that's what the um, what the additional involvement is like somebody is that this person's trying to stop something from happening to someone else like there's something like that going on here some of you there's going to be a second marriage um if you've been married before there's going to be a second marriage at some point later on down the road possibly to an earth sign or a libra or you could be an earth sign or libra somebody has those signs heavily uh in their chart here And someone could be getting a new pet here, okay? Uh, and this is going to be one of those pets who, you know, they choose you, you don't choose them, okay? So, a uh, very special connection, very special connection, all right? All right, going to stop getting lost in that there, okay? Collective, that is what I am seeing for you. I do hope that it was helpful. Um, and I do want to thank you all so much uh, for joining me here today. And uh, don't forget that I do have um, individual sign readings over on Patreon if you all want to join me over there. Um, it's the only other place I offer readings for individual signs. Over on TikTok and Instagram, I do weekly element readings for fire, earth, water, air. And I do daily energies. So the links are down below for those platforms as well as my other channel and the information on the tarot course for those of you who are interested in the tarot course, okay? But if this is where we part collective, I do want to thank you so much um, for allowing us to help guide you on this journey and for joining me here today. I really appreciate you for watching this far and supporting me. And um, I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.